The 31-day team bike challenge is over with 2,768 Bay Area residents pedaling to work during the month of May. The rules were simple. Join a team of two to five people. At least one has to be a novice. Log your daily miles. You can make extra points by completing challenges like using your bike, not your car, on weekends and when you socialize. The sixth year of Team Bike Challenge generated 687 teams in the Bay Area. We're doing it for the glory of making SFTG go down in history. In the final dramatic week of Team Bike Challenge, I tracked down three teams that were neck to neck. And your team is called? Our team is called SFTG, which is, uh, it says here, which started out as a, a commuting club that goes from San Francisco to Google. Uh, though nowadays it's only maybe 40% Google people, it's a pretty large club of about 1,300 people. Five of SF2G's 1,300 members took up the team bike challenge for the month of May. We uh, rode via Half Moon Bay yesterday, which is a 60 mile commute. We rode home as well, which we took the shorter way, which is still 40 miles. There's a special badge if you get 100 miles in a day. Are you guys going to win? Certainly hope so. We're, we're in the lead on miles right now and we're the top team in San Francisco. We have an outside chance to win on points. I think we're, we're really going to try to win on miles, at least so we have some bragging rights. Your points are capped at 20 miles a day. If you rode to the moon, you wouldn't get any more points. So it's more like a consistency thing. That was with six days to go in the challenge, with team captain Scott Crosby making his now routine commute to Palo Alto by bike and without a traffic jam. Commuting down to the South Bay every day it really crushes your soul after a while. This is a good way to uh, save your sanity on the commute and uh, also get your gym time in. And what was your time? Uh, it looks like about uh, two hours and ten minutes. In another ten minutes, he was showered and ready for work. Our second team profile, Sangamo Cyclers from Sangamo Biosciences in Richmond. They are about to pass me with five days to go in the challenge. It's their first competition. They have a 45 minute commute each way. They've been ranked number one all week. They hope they can still be number one when it wraps up on Tuesday evening. Here they come. This is cool. A little Mexicana music in the background as the Sangamo team approaches me on the final Thursday of the event. Sunny Wong was the team novice with 604.8 miles. I never rode a bicycle when I was a kid. It was hard in the beginning because I, I was not used to biking so like 20 miles, 22 miles a day. And I kind of got used to the whole you know, routine. At the beginning, uh, we looked at last year's winners and we thought we could totally do that. Uh, I think last year's winners rode around 2,000 and that's where we're at right now and there's still a good week left. So. The key to winning is consistency. So you're awarded by having your whole team bike 20 miles a day instead of one person biking 100 miles a day. Every team member's day starts at home. Our third team profile is on Team Brocade One in San Jose and its captain is Aruna Sangley. He passes three schools with lots of traffic and mingles in and passes heavy congestion for a few miles on the Lawrence Expressway before getting off the beaten path in his 45 minute commute. This was the final day of Team Bike Challenge. How many miles do you have as of this morning? Do you know? Uh, about 600 plus. Yeah. Can you win the competition tonight? Uh, it all depends on the team because uh, some of us, we missed one or two days. But his team logged an incredible 4,556 miles in 31 days. Brocade One team member Clyde Budd is training for a Paris to Brest to Paris France competition in August, where he'll have 90 hours to pedal 765 miles. Even with his experience, he was beaten in team bike challenge by the novice on his team, Kim Hoag, who discovered bicycling in January and got hooked. You got beat by a novice, that's a killer. <laughs> I did, yeah, I sure did, but that's okay because um, you know I gave her a run for her money and I didn't make it easy for her. <laughs> of the 687 teams in the 31 day event, Team Brocade One placed third overall in miles and points. SF2G ranked number seven overall, but first in miles, nearly 4,700 miles for the month. And the number one team in miles and points was Team Sangamo Cyclers. It was their first competition, and the first competition for Team Captain Stephen Lamb, who until the challenge had only biked to work three times this year. When did you realize the team was maybe going to win? Probably, probably 
after the first week. After the first week? After the first week, I thought, we could probably do this. But really, Team Bike Challenge provided wins for nearly all 2,800 riders. When you're biking, you're not working, so you're not talking about work, right? And then you just get to know them better as, you know, people. At first I thought I was just a commuter, and now I think I'm a little bit of an athlete. It's really, it's not that bad. Most, I think more people could do it than think they could. I don't even know what gas is these days, but I heard it's <laughs> oh, expensive, yeah. so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. You haven't bought gas in a month? I haven't bought gas, I haven't bought gas in a month. You, you, know what, you know what the challenge helps me increase, helps my awareness, is the weekend stuff. So when I go to a grocery store where I normally would just hop in the car because it's just a couple minutes, I could ride my bike there. I didn't know that almost 70% of my route to, to work was on bike trails. I haven't driven a car since January. I'm car free and I live just fine without a car. Final results. The nearly 2,800 Bay Area riders pedaled 469,642 miles, equivalent to circling the globe nearly 19 times, and cut toxic emissions in the Bay Area atmosphere by 258 tons by not using their cars. Team Bike Challenge is sponsored by MTC as part of an effort to get people to bike all year long. I'm Mark Jones reporting.